She is special. I wouldn't have tried to do that the Pradanova. It's insane. Simone Biles knows the sport and can comprehend what it is to do the vault of death. Two and a half somersaults before landing may sound like no big deal. But for connoisseurs, it's not something that can be attempted by the faint-hearted. It may sound cliched, but what the hell? Deepak Armakar may have lost the medal, but she has won hearts. This is sport. Even in defeat, there is triumph. Even in loss, there's hope. Deepak hails from a remote place in the India where gymnastics is not even in their collective consciousness. Coming from a cradle where there is no foam to land or proper vault to practice on, it's surprising that in her very first Olympics, she has rattled the best. She finished above Asia's no one gymnast. At one point of time, before Simone stepped in, the medal was within her grasp. Three months of practice is all she had. There was no gymnastics federation for a while and there was no one who would care. Like many athletes in India, Deepa too was practicing in obscurity. Four years ago, she was just another athlete trying to make a mark in a sport that is considered the bastion of Russia or Romania. Things have changed. A colored American, Miles, has made the sport her own. Russia's dominance is peripheral. And then comes in a diminutive Indian with unfathomable resolve and power in her pudgy body. Fourth in any discipline is very cruel. Ask a Platinum Bush or a Milka Singh. Deepa's incredible journey is a chronicle of achieving the unachievable. She practiced just for three months at the Indira Gandhi Indoor Stadium in Delhi at the behest of Sports Authority of India. She was forced to shift because she did not have landing gear in a guard taller. The Ramp Shackle Gymnasium is all she has there. Despite the lack of basic infrastructure, she made it to the final. This is a story of indefatigable determination. Pressure can make an athlete either crumble or more confident. For Deepa, there was nothing to lose. She did her first routine, Sukhara, with a difficulty of 6. It fetched her 14.866. The second, her signature Pradhanova, with a difficulty of 7, fetched her 15.266 at an average of 15.066. Deepa prodded around on the sidelines adjusted her hair and marched to the runway. She looked confident. She ran, did her somersault and executed, what was almost, a perfect landing. No better sight in sport than a gymnast's perfect routine. The gymnasium hall in Olympia CK Park burst into applause. Biles to jumps fetched her scores of 15.900 and 16.033, for an average score of 15.966. Maria Pasepa of Russia was second with 15.253 and Germany's Julia Oftengruber third with 15.216. Dipa was 0.15 points behind the German. Oksana Chushavina, the other legendary gymnast, who tried the Pradanova, stumbled and fell. Not Dipa. Sunday was her day as she managed an 8.266 for execution. What Dipa has done is given belief to a nation that is still to open its account. I was not nervous or under any kind of pressure, said the 22-year-old, who qualified at no date. I will do better and in 2020 in Tokyo, I will bring gold for the country. I have done my best and, with a little more luck, I would have been in the medal bracket. I am not disappointed. Little sad for missing out. But that's okay. Keeping a steady head on the grandest of stages is not easy. It takes hard work and relentless concentration. Dipa doesn't know it and she doesn't need to know. I just came here, wanting to enjoy and I enjoyed. Everyone knows me now and they come and pat me on my back. What else do I need? Miles was effusive in her praise. She said, the girl has talent. I have known her for quite some time and she is special. She does the Pradhanova superbly. Baswep Swarnandi, her coach, has known her since she was five. Ever since, he has been her mentor. I try to keep it simple, he said. We have been training for this only for the last three months. I say I had given us an opportunity to go abroad but we thought if we have come this far without going abroad we can do it again. They almost did. Their only concern right now is whether the government will continue their support. Hope they will, said Nandi.